It's unreal. Probably the, my favorite ruin I've seen. Oh my god, this gets really deep. This is one of the most unique things I've done in my life, let alone in Turkey. Hello from Pamakale, Turkey. We arrived yesterday, but before we came here, we actually arrived into Izmir and went to Ephesus and we went to some of the best ruins in Turkey. So I'm gonna go back in time before we even start in Pamukkale, where these amazing calistite mineral hot spring pools are. Up to that now so you can catch up and see exactly what we've been up to. We've arrived in Izmir, we've come to Ephesus. So we've come firstly to the museum. So we're gonna go in here, get some context. And then after this, we're gonna head over to the archeological site, which is supposed to be very well, well regarded. Kind regards. <laughs> what a weird way to explain it. Talked about. People say it's good. I haven't slept. It's been a big travel day. We're in the middle of a travel day. So we're gonna go explore the museum, check out some of the statues, artwork, and just get, add some context, and then we'll head over to the archaeological site. Let's go. finished at the museum it's very cool it's interesting to do it after we've just done Greece because all of the statues were a lot more intact and detailed which was really cool um, gave us some idea of what to expect when we came to the archaeological set the museum was 18 lira and then coming into here was 70 lira um, it was a 30 minute walk 45 30 to 45 depends how fast you walk um, I would recommend getting a cab <laughs> we walked I'm gonna be very tan tomorrow but um, there's lots of cabs at the front of here to get home from here as well. So we're going to go explore the archaeological site. So we've made it to the top of the theatre. I don't know how we keep finding all these really tall places to climb. You can come in the shot, you know, you don't have to hide. So we've walked all the way to the top of the theatre. I don't know how we keep finding these massive theatres. They keep seem to be getting bigger and bigger everywhere we go, but it does remind me a lot of Greece. Um, unfortunately, we can't get all the way to the top, which is such a shame because that's exactly what I want to do. We totally would, we'd be doing laps. I'd be, yeah, I would be doing hill sprints up and down these stairs, but no. Yeah, we didn't. But it is very cool um, to come and explore. It's massive and very old. Let's keep exploring. Number one reason I wanted to come to Ephesus. Ephesus. No, it's not. I say Ephesus. You say Ephesus. Uh, number one reason I wanted to come here was for the Celsus Library, which is behind me. It reminds me a lot of Jordan, which is high up on my travel list. Um, so this is a good like taste test of Jordan. Um, basically, the history dates back to um, 1300 BC, um, and it was a library. So you go in. Um, at the moment there's not much in there as you can see but it would have been um, bookcases on it, all the walls a mixture of mosaics and paintings and there would have been a statue right at the back of one of the many gods I'm not sure which one <laughs> um, but it is so much detail I just love all the detail it's unreal probably the, my favorite ruin I've seen this year is that a big claim can't think of anything else I'd love more that's a big claim but you can make it I think it's real I'm ready to make that cool 
But yeah, so we're gonna keep exploring. The heat is killing me. So we have made it to Hercules Gate, um, which is the third main thing to see here. So the top three things. The theater, the library, and then Hercules Gate. So we're gonna wander around here, check it out. So we finished at the, um, no, I said Aladdin, wrong thing, the Hercules Gate. Um, definitely out of the three things, I personally like the library the most, but I always like a library. Um, the stadium is very impressive and amazing, but because we've just been to Greece, it's like less impactful for us. Um, but it's definitely worth coming. I'm happy that we're doing it the way we're doing it with like um, a drop in as we're traveling through. So I will end this video, I'll end this segment now um, and I will catch up with you when I'm in Pukan, Pukan, what? Pamakale. Pamakale, I was close. <laughs> so Pamakale is known for these massive hot springs which are also made from calafite, I think I'm saying that right. It's basically when you go into like Dunolan Caves or any caves and they have the calistites that have been building up, this is that but over a mountain. Um, I would take my sunglasses off to be polite, but it is so bright here because all the light plus the sun is just like blinding. It is a mineral hot spring. So that means that there is all these pools of like bright blue mineral water. Um, and it's like really refreshing. I thought it was gonna be hot because it is hot springs, but it's like, I think that's got some more to do with like the sulfur in it. Regardless, it is amazing. It is usually flooded full of these hot springs. However, because there was some hotels being set up and they were funneling off some of the mineral water, They've actually diverted the water from the site because they're trying to help the site restore itself. So there is still pools around here, but just you gotta imagine imagine it like times 10, because that would be amazing. Good. <laughs> you want it to call. <laughs> Careful, it's gonna be slippery as. Uh, not really actually. Oh. It's actually quite nice. Oh, oh yeah? quite a few people just pick up plain put on their face and I'm like yeah I haven't moisturized this trip so here we go nice pace maybe just yeah for some yeah okay uh, very sexy is that a good amount yeah you look fabulous good I'm gonna you be beautiful 10 years younger how are you gonna get your backpack off now without covering in clay <laughs> <laughs> it's not coming off hey right, done don't eat the clay top tip. So we are leaving here now. It costs 60 lira to enter and it is so, so, so worth it. This is one of the most unique things I've done in my life, let alone in Turkey. It's amazing. We were talking about it before saying so it's probably one of our favorite things we've done this year as a single day trip. It's amazing. Um, it's beautifully stunning. It's actually really hot weather today, so going for a swim is amazing. And the colors and this photography, mad tip. You can enter from the top and the bottom. All the massive tour groups go to the top. So if you enter from the bottom, there is not many people. If you go to the top, 
you get this chaos that is just everyone everywhere trying to get in the water. So definitely start at the bottom and then you get no, no one in your photos and you get some amazing shots. So now we are leaving here. We're heading to a pool called the Cleopatra Pool. So I will wait till I get there before I tell you more because if I'm right, it's very interesting. But if I'm wrong, I'm wrong and that's embarrassing. Sweet, sweet shade. <laughs> Sorry, there's been an issue with my sound, as you can see, it isn't working. But have no fear, I can lip read. So we'll be lip reading for the rest of this segment because it is quite important. So we've made it to Cleopatra Pools. It is free to enter, but costs 50 Turkish lira to go swimming. However, the reason you'd want to go swimming is because Cleopatra Pools is rumored to be where the structure that Mark Anthony gave Cleopatra collapsed and now you can go swimming over all the ruins and all of the columns. And it is so hot that right now, I want nothing more than to go swimming. So the Cleopatra pools were great. The water is not as cold as you would think. It's more like a hot spring, which would be great in winter, less great now, because it is actually 40 degrees or 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, and as you can see, the sun is winning against my skin at the moment. Um, but the pool was very good. FYI, if you're going, they don't let you take GoPros in and they don't let you take cameras in because they sell photos of you in the pool. Um, so you have to be sneaky if you're going to do it. So I always promote sneakiness in every way. So just so you're aware with that. But it is very, very cool because I always talk to living history and like imagine what it, what it was like when. And like this is actually what you know Greeks, Romans, any ancient civilization would have done. So when you've gone to so many um, archaeological sites and you've seen so many empty baths, it's really cool to see one that's like actually in action and being used. And like my imagination is just not that good, so it's really good to see it and then also be a part of it as well. So it is a bit more commercial in here than say Stalagmites or the ruins. Um, there is shops and stuff to buy food at, obviously where we are, but. It is like, you know, theme park pricing. It's not cheap, but it is worth it in my opinion. Just to say you did it, because where else are you gonna say that you swam on top of ancient Greek ruins, or Turkish ruins, um, very cool. Or Egyptian even, if it's Cleopatra. I don't know whose ruins it is, ruins. <laughs> All right, you're good. So it is currently nine o'clock at night and it is still 30 something degrees. Um, but because the sun's out, we're doing okay. Irregardless, this is the end of my Pamakali video. Um, hopefully this has inspired you to come here because this is by far one of my favorite things I've done this entire trip. It is so crazy, unique and underrated. Like everyone's talking about Cappadocia and the balloons, but no one talks about like the blue um, stalagmite mineral water. Like that's amazing. It'd be even more amazing if it was all filled up. So definitely head here. Um, if you have any questions on how or why or where to stay or anything like that, I'll answer comments in the I'll answer in the comments below because I know it can be a bit confusing trying to like figure out where to stay because you wouldn't stay in Pamakalu. There's a pro tip for you. If you like this video, remember to hit subscribe and give it a thumbs up for me. Um, and next, we are currently about to get on an overnight bus to Cappadocia. So I won't talk too much smack because I haven't been there yet, but we're heading there now. So if you want to see that, make sure you hit subscribe so I can see you next time in Cappadocia with maybe a bit of hot air ballooning. So, bye.